Hey Sharkers, this is SF and it's time for another monster review. This time it is the newly transcendent Jackal and Hyde. And he got, or they got a lot of improvements. Uh, they both uh, they both have now. Uh, no Grady Bear, no Damage Wall, and then added with his no Magic Circle and his Strike Shot Turn Reducer. Strike Shot is a little bit different. Well, it, it reads a little different, but it is pretty much the same as Athena. And then there is a new-ish bump combo with the quad rebound spread shot and then short spread 9 and I'm bringing a super OB team in June because June is kind of hard <laughs> so hopefully I can explain and talk about Jaquil and uh, not Jaquil, Jacko and Hyde I keep on doing like Japanese pronunciation for no reason Jacko and Hyde but hopefully it'll be okay but it's another addition to the no gravity bear, no damage wall family. There is not a lot of those combinations even now. I think it's still the least combinations out of the big four, being damage walls, gravity barriers, mine sweeper slash flight, and then warps. I think that combination is the least out of all the other ones that are out there. But in terms of the bump combo, uh, it is a quad. Rebound spread shot. So basically, what that means is that means is that it rebounds off the walls four times. Normally, the ones that you've seen with uh, with what's his, what's his name with like Roy's and those types of people are try rebound spread shot. They changed it. They changed the name into try rebound spread shot just to just to make room for uh, Jacko and Hyde. But basically, those were rebound the walls three times and spreads. Whereas uh, Jacko and Hyde rebounds four times and spreads, so it will spread more, deals uh, has more bullets out, and then deals more uh, deals more damage because they have, there's more bullets, and it's the same power as the try try version in terms of the quad ones, so that's not bad, but it is very hard for people to actually get those bounces off the walls because it's very different, especially with crowded areas like this. On like this stage, it's really hard to get all the bullets out, like get the maximum amount of bullets out. So it's only good for like when you're single target damage, or if you don't really care much, or if there's really not many good, uh, not many tanky members out there. Okay, not bad. Good. Holy crap! The defense down. This might be a little bit easier because before when I first played June. Uh, it was super hard. It was before Lila even came out, like their transcendent Lila came out with her no damage wall. But now it's a little bit better. And I think Pandora is still good in this dungeon, but they are better. Now I'm just blind flicking this stage, really. Which is not that bad for this dungeon. Usually you want to clear out the angels and stuff, but like go turn for turn and don't miss a shot, but. Even now, I can just do whatever I want. But back to Jacko and Hyde. Uh, lots of improvements. The I'll use the strike shot later on, but it's really sad to see the command strike shot go away. But I think this one is not that bad either. Just because it kind of functions as a command strike shot. This is the same as Athena's strike shot. It's used for either mob clearing or boss damage. Usually command strike shots don't do both at the same time unless you get really lucky with like uh, match shots and pinch uh, pinch spots and all that stuff. So I think it's not that bad. And he also has the strike shot reducer to get the cooldown off even more. Uh, it's usually 22 turns but you can decrease it even further uh, you can go up to 7 turns per round, which is really crazy. Get that strike case, and then it could be even more depending on what positioning you get for JQ and High on your team. And this is the boss stage. And I want to use that strike shot very, very soon. I'll probably use it on this one, on this stage. Use the first one, and we'll see how it goes. But in terms of like viability there is Devidara, there is like Izanami, there is Yamato Takiru, there's a ton, like I mean ton of uh, dungeons where I'm 
And let's strike shot. And let's see Hyde run about. Oh, where is Hyde? Oh, there he is. And he becomes a Pierce monster as well as a Pierce version. So that is pretty crazy. I did get a good critical there, so... But it is the first gear only. So either way, it's very high damage. And here comes the new flowers. I don't really care much. Let's just park Lila somewhere. Okay, good. And Jakun High doesn't have his bump combos, so I'm just going to go random-ish. Can't really do much. And let's... This is pretty sketchy, just because attack up and angels at the same time. Okay, cleared one. Why survive? I will survive. But barely. Like I said, this is probably not the best dungeon to do this type of thing. Do like a review video, but I'll try to make it work. Strike shot Lila. And hopefully this will be enough. Okay, that is enough. So back to uh, back to Jacko and Hyde. In terms of the no gravity bear, no damage wall monsters that are out there, Udiel, Arthur, and there's no dark one out. No, well, actually, there are dark ones out. There is uh, two for all. There is Thumbelina. I think in terms of two for all, nobody really likes two for all just because, like, two for all is not that popular just because they are a limited monster. But even so, like, I think Jacko and Hyde beats out two for all despite being both limited monsters. That being said, two for all is only ascension or evolution, whereas. Uh, Jacko and Hunt is Transcension, and they both come up from the same place. But damage wise, damage output is higher. Uh, Two for All does have that light resistance, but Jacko and Hunt has that no magic circle, which is pretty crazy in my opinion. But if you go for like Udiel, you compare it to Udiel. Uh, Udiel is still easier to use just because she's a pierce monster, but strike shot wise, I think they're both even in my opinion. Uh, damage wise, damage wise, I think Udiel beats it on the in the long run, but uh, Jackal and Hyde can can you be used in laser bear in laser barrier dungeons, especially. Like right now, the recent series of The Rising Sun 2 monsters have a uh, colored elemental and uh, laser bears. Jacko and Hyde, uh, Jacko and Hyde can just go past them because their bump combos doesn't go through laser, doesn't need laser barriers. They just go through laser bears. So I think that's really good. And let's see who's up next. Uh, let's just use it just to heal up. And even so, like Jacko and Hyde's main bump, uh, main no abilities of no damage one, no gravity bear are on his, or on their base form. So you don't really need to hit your gauge. You might want to just to uh, get the attack boost, but it's not really needed to know most of the gimmicks in the game. There's not many no, there's no, ma there's not many magic circle dungeons out there. There's only like three or four in terms of extremes and lethals out there so I think you don't really need to worry that much about the worry that much about the magic circle part you can basically miss and you'll still do a decent amount of damage and there's the rebound good and let's use that Jacko and Hyde strike shot the second gear after this turn, Lila or Lila. And let's see how much it goes. I'm going to go aim for the head for Jackal. And then Hyde is going to hit the flower for me. I hope. 
Uh, hit the flower too late, I think. Uh, that was a little sketchy. But let's just meteor <laughs> with Tsunayoshi and give some more room for the next Jackal strike shot. If I can hit the Angels, that'll be perfect. Nope, I didn't hit anybody. That is pretty bad. Either way, let's just strike shot. I'm missing one turn off of Jackal for the second gear, but it's okay. That is a lot of damage for a first gear. <laughs> he did get the sword halfway through, but that's about 70% of dude's HP, which is pretty crazy, and it didn't involve weak points as well. Well, maybe high went through weak points some of, uh, for some hits, but still, that is a ton of damage. And let's just finish off this dungeon. So, in terms of dark monsters, overall, Jacko and Hyde, outside of Pandora, Jacko and Hyde is pretty up there. I think he's at least a top 5 in terms of dark monsters. Might not be top well, Loki is really easy to use. Oda is really used, really easy to use. In terms of a versatility standpoint, uh, Jacko and Hyde is the top of the chain. In terms of dark monsters, because you're basically arguing between Pandora and Oda, which both have only one low ability. And it's not like Jacko is very versatile, but really weak in terms of all the other aspects, kind of like a Thumbelina. Uh, he still holds its own in terms of bump combo damage and things like that. So I think he is a very awesome monster. In terms of overall, you won't make the top 10. Just because I can see people still choosing Pandora, Oda over Jacko and Hyde. And then in terms of light monsters, there's Udio, which is easier to use as well. And not sure about the wood, water. Wood. Boy, water probably go for Oda X just because, and then Fire has Beethoven and stuff. Just because people love those strike shots more than Jacko and Hyde's uh, Athena style strike shot. But I think it's still useful if you make it work. If you can, if you're really good at those bump combos, that rebound strike shot, I think you can make Jacko and Hyde be like a very top tier monster. But that is just my opinion. If you have any comments or questions about Jacko and Hyde, then by all means comment below. But that's pretty much it for me. Hope you guys like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to click the annotation in the middle. And also have a special discount code for you on Japan Code Supply. If you want to buy some Japanese gift cards, including iTunes cards. Thank you and hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye.